everybody is either related to somebody special or just is someone special. You think you're growing up in the woods with two random boys? Nope, one's the prince of the island that you're on right now, and the other one is prince of the pirates, his father was the pirate king. But he doesn't consider himself royalty because he doesn't like his dad. You thought you picked up a chef for your voyage? Nope, it's a, it's a runaway prince. But he doesn't consider himself royalty because he doesn't like his dad. Oh, you think you're getting robbed by some uh, Team Rocket rejects? Nope, it's a runaway princess and so on and so forth. It works fine, but does it gotta be for every arc? I mean, take Momonosuke for example. It's a well-written character, has an arc and story relevance, but added nothing for me when it came to Luffy fighting Kaido. Not to mention Kaido wanted revenge for Doflamingo, who by the way is royalty, but turned evil because he doesn't like his dad. How many times is Oda gonna play the royalty card with a lot of these characters? Where Luffy just happens to stumble upon someone who's a descendant of someone royal, who's a royalty themselves or just related to someone special. Because goodness, I mean, like if we keep going with this, imagine, I, I really hope for the sake of the story that Shanks isn't related to anyone like a celestial or Zebek, it's just like, come on now, like for the love of Christ, it, it, would it not be too much? Would it not be too much to go into a One Piece arc? Or to have One Piece characters who are special and powerful because they work to be? Someone who put themselves into political power, into the political world of One Piece by force and wasn't just born into it. Like, does Zoro really need to be a Shimotsuki? Like, does he, why can't he just be a normal guy who trained his ass off to be where he is? Why does he have to have royal lineage? Why does he have to be related to someone royal? It kind of just takes the umph out of the character. I mean, this is a world where, you, you know, you're only as big as your dreams. You know, the bigger your dreams, the bigger your ambitions, the stronger your conquerors hockey is, the stronger your, your will is, but to just make everyone of some sort of special bloodline it takes away from the characters it just does for me like like he just wanted to be someone who who's whose name would reach the heavens that moved my heart but to just have him be related oh let's just give him a special bloodline let's make him a shimotsuki like, why not like why not it's not necessary at all we liked zoro before he was a shimotsuki <sighs> it just it sucks man everyone has to be related to someone special and it's a and it's just a secret you know any other manga artist we would have their ass but we let Oda slide because we've been trained to take One Piece that way. 